This next problem is important because it deals with an application of linear equations. We are told that the revenue for cellular wireless communication can be modeled by the equation r equals 17.5x plus 138.5, where x is the year number of years since 2005. Determine the revenue for the year 2007. Notice in comparing that with 2005, x is going to equal two years later. That means we are going to substitute 2 into the equation. We will have r is equal to 17.5 times 2 substituted in plus 138.5. r then is equal to 35 plus 138.5, which is 173.5. Since this is a word problem, I should probably put the units of dollar signs and write the word billions afterwards. In this next part, we're asked to determine the year in which the revenue was 226 billion. This time, the left side of the equation is going to have r substituted in, and we are going to solve for x, the number of years since 2005, on the right-hand side. The first thing we want to do is subtract off 138.5 from each side of the equation. This is going to give us 87.5 on the left equals 17.5x on the right. And dividing through by 17.5 gives us x is equal to 5. That means the revenue will be 226 billion five years after 2005, which will mean that the answer is the year 2010. Okay, we are given a picture that goes along with this problem, and let's verify this last problem. We had a revenue of 226 billion, which is right between roughly 200 and 255 billion, and at five years later, which we said was the solution, the point on the graph corresponds or matches what we drew up above. So this is a way of verifying that our solution is indeed correct. Okay, in this problem, something funny is going to happen, and we're being asked to classify this equation as conditional, a contradiction, or as an identity. We're going to begin by distributing on the left and combining like terms on the right. The left side of the equation becomes 12 minus 20n plus 1, and the right side is negative 20n minus 8. Let's combine like terms on the left. This is going to give us 13 minus 20n equals negative 20n minus 8. There's no change on the right-hand side. And since we have negative 20n's on each side, let's add 20n to each side. The n's disappear from the equation altogether, and we have left 13 equals negative 8. This is a false statement. Therefore, this equation contains a contradiction. Now, that is a description of the solution set, but it is not the solution set itself. We want to write the solution set as either the null set or we want to write the empty set as a way of describing the solution set.